Good morning, guys. Happy August 1st. I cannot believe it is August. Shh. Do you hear that? Silence. That's right. There's no dogs here. There's no man here. I have the house to myself. Had it for one night and a couple more hours today. I have to say I love my family, but as a woman who like works at home and stays at home and doesn't really have alone time ever, it's really nice to just have your own space. But right now I'm editing my Asia Does Iman video. You guys really, really seem to enjoy this series. So um, I told you guys I would do it twice a month, but maybe we will do it more. We'll see how I feel. But in other big news, I'm almost at 200,000, guys. Took me a really, really long time to get here. And there was points of just absolutely frustration because I feel like I put a lot of like really good and well thought out content. And it's just frustrating when um, you don't feel like your growth is fast enough, but it is finally happening. Okay, bye. Let me finish editing. Bye bye. Ta ta. Just shot a healthy habits video that hopefully you will have seen once this comes out, but who knows. But I wanted to show you guys my little setup because everyone always has these like extravagant rooms of filming, but sometimes you don't need a room or you don't have a room. Right, honey? Yeah. So here is my setup right on my bed. Just have this little whiteboard, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint it like that or not because I did like the way that looked, but I also like the white. And then it's just right in front of this window. Sometimes it gets too bright, so I need to close the drapes. And then I have this bounce right here with my camera. So you don't need a room. Oops. So you don't need a room. You just need a window. So now we are heading to Kate Somerville to get couples facials. You know, I like my girl Adrena, but she's too affordable for Brian. <laughs> I really like Kate Somerville to splurge. Somerset. Somerset, as Brian says. So here we are. Take off my. Look at how good my makeup was today, guys. I was very impressed by myself. So this goes bye bye soon. <laughs> He plays too many video games, so I've banished him to the loft area. It looks like he's in timeout. European Wax Center. So I'm actually going to be doing a lot of stuff for them for the next couple months and I'm really, really, really excited. But your girl's got a face mask and go to sleep because I feel like I'm about to die. So see you tomorrow. Peace. Good morning. 
and everyone. Beautiful day in New York. It is raining, but I'm in New York, so I can't be mad at it. It's nine in the morning. I am already regretting waking up so early, but I'm actually heading to a European wax center to get a service done. Haven't uh, shaved my legs in a while, so we're gonna see. Okay, so this vlog is not sponsored by European Wax Center, but I am now, big news, an ambassador for them, which is why I'm also in New York. So I figured it's a 15 minute walk from my hotel. Might as well like test it out. Your girl needs to get waxed anyway, so it's a win-win, especially for Brian. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. guys I feel amazing I washed my hair I'm waxed I have food I'm in New York it's like a trifecta but what's for what is for court court quartet it is a quartet so I got my legs waxed you got my armpits waxed and I got a Nope, I'm show, I got a bazillion, which if I showed you that, it'd be a totally different video. I do have a code, guys, for either 50% off, 50% off a Brazilian, or free, or a free bikini waxing. Hello! And I know for a lot of people, waxing is really expensive, so I think this would be a perfect opportunity to test it out. Me personally, I've been getting Brazilian waxes since high school, since my senior year of high school, so that stuff doesn't scare me. I just feel better, I feel more confident when I'm waxed. But if you haven't waxed at all, um, I would totally say give Bikini Area a try. I don't know, pick your poison. There's actually an adoption center uh, animal adoption center right across the street so I want to hurry up get ready eat and then head over meet some of the pups before we head to upstate New York The good news is that it was very empty in there. So they had a lot of adoptions, I guess this weekend, the guy said, which is amazing. So they only had five dogs and it looked like only like five cats. Reaffirms my passion for animal rights and stuff. And if you follow me for a long time, which I know a lot of you haven't because I just hit 200,000 today, which is amazing. Thank you so much. but. I've been contemplating leaving like YouTube for a while now, for at least a year, vocally, for a year. Um, just feel like there's more, more to life for me than uploading videos and stuff. But yeah, I think that might be my direction. So I don't really know what path that is going to take yet. Um, but also on the other hand, I know that me doing this is allowing me to work with brands that are also cruelty free and from there we can spread the word about you know adoption and what I really want to do is help shape uh, animal cruelty policy there's a lot of things on my mind and I'm 30 so anyways this sure took, sure took a dark turn I gotta go downstairs in a couple Heading to um, up to New York. Just sat down for dinner next to Katie, <laughs> and then next to. Morning, everyone. Ooh, I look really bad. I'm getting my eyebrows done today with one of their waxers. I actually have to leave in a little bit, so I may just show up in this. 
I have to say it's been really really fun to meet the brand and meet all the ladies here because sometimes when I go on these brand trips I feel um, left out because everyone already knows each other and it's kind of hard to infiltrate groups that are already kind of set. There weren't that many people who had previously known each other which makes it way easier for everyone else to meet friends and stuff so I've been meeting friends, guys. Post pizza. Yeah, we're Food baby. Walking the farm property. This is honestly my dream, guys. But just rescue dogs and have them run around and live their best life. That's my dream. On another note, I'm also not wearing a bra, so if there's some nippage, forgive me. Rested a little bit, did some DIY denim jacketing, and now heading to the final dinner before we all leave tomorrow. I am very sluggish <laughs> ever since I got back from where was I I am heading to Nick's doing a shoot with them haven't shot with them in a really long time and then I have to head to Glendale for a meeting and then I was supposed to go to um, a spin event with Ipsy and Roxette but I, I haven't yet <laughs> I accidentally took a dance workout. <laughs> it was really bad. I mean, it was really fun. Like, it's probably the most fun workout I've had in a while, and especially because there weren't any mirrors. Like, you couldn't see how ridiculous you were looking, but it was really fun. We danced to Beyonce. It was basically a concert, like you dancing at your own concert, but Beyonce and Brian would not be proud of my skills. Unfortunate, but off to the next workout. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Guys, that was literally the dopest thing I have ever done in my life. Boxing to big boy rapping, I just like, that was so dope. I mean, the whole day was great. All the classes were really fun. The dance class, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, the playlist yoga is always great if you're in LA. I definitely missed, um, meditation which I was pretty bummed about but that allowed me to get my cool little braided hair but by far the best thing of today and just like the best overall experience even beating like when I see Beyonce in concert which says a lot was boxing to big boy rapping like performing that was just like awesome I am so fucking tired right now I'm sweaty, I'm stinky. I'm gonna go home and shower and probably knock out. It's almost seven. I'll walk the boys. Um, but back at it again tomorrow. Day two, let's go. Can't you see you and me that a week can be oh, up those words. Um heading to the last day of the festival. Miss Jackson. Oh, yeah. Miss Jackson. Jackson. 
All right, five workouts, two days. I'm done. Speed play is always hard, but that just put me over the top. Can't do it anymore. Treated myself to a dream pop, though. It's not really a treat. I've had like six. They're really good, though, but let's try and make some fun, shall we? This is what happens when you literally do not give a flying F anymore. This right here. Looky bear! Looky bear! Hey, baby. Oh, ow! I am so sore. It is crazy. I'm not gonna do anything today, really, because I cannot physically move. Ah, oh, Luke! Yesterday at the Collabs Propel Festival, I went by myself. And I don't know if you noticed that or if that's something that occurred to you, but. I went to that festival myself and the reason why I'm telling you this is a lot of people are just scared to do things by themselves whether it's going to a fitness festival or just I don't know going to a restaurant and going to the movies and I just want to say this about that is that a lot of people are I guess afraid to do that because they don't want to seem like they're a loser or uh, whatever but um, no one really gives a shit. Like literally, no one is looking at you. So if you wanna go to the movies, but you're scared to, just go to the movies, cause I'll, I'll let you know that you won't be the only one there who's there by themselves. I was not the only, only one there at the festival by myself. I'm gonna end this first part of August, of the August vlog here. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this vlog. Cause I know it's a little random, but my life is random. Like it's not put together, it's not, beautifully done it's just kind of a mess and that's just how my vlogs are so i don't know let me know in the comments i'll see you guys on friday and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye